Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am very excited to be showing you all these four squishies that I'm going to be painting today. I bought all four of these squishies at the dollar store. They're very cheap and very simple and somewhat boring and so they're perfect for repainting. I start off first by sanding all four of the squishies just to make sure that the fabric paint that I will be using will adhere correctly onto the foam. And once all four of the squishies have been correctly sanded, I go in with some scissors just to trim off any edges and any corners that are frayed or somewhat messed up. And then I go straight into chopping the top strawberry off of this full cake. And then using some fabric fusion, I fuse the squishy cat to the top of the cake and go right into doing the same thing for the other cake. But this time I'm using a unicorn head to glue on top of this cake. So although it is four squishies, I am technically making just two squishies. And once I adhere the glue, I just hold them together with some rubber bands. And after an hour, they're ready to go. And I just tighten the bond and the seal with some puffy paint. And after many, many, many coats, they're finally ready to start with the actual decorative paint. Now I'm going to focus on just this cat squishy. I'm going with a very triple chocolate cake design and basically the cat head is just going to be the topper for the cake and I just cover the whole squishy with this light brown that I mix together and I give it many many coats just to get a full color around the whole squishy. After it's opaque, I start filling in the strawberries that I left on the cake. Sadly, the top strawberry did have to die, but I did keep the ones all the way around the bottom layer of the cake. And then I just started adding some chocolate designs on the face of the cat or on its markings. And then I had some issues with painting his eyes. I ended up going with one design, but then hated how it looked, and so I had to completely restart, and then go over the eyes. But I did finally settle on a design that I like, and then I moved to start pouring this chocolate icing over the top of the cake with just some brown puffy paint that looks like chocolate. And once that was completely dry, I used the same red paint that I did for the strawberries and just signed my initials on the bottom of the squishy. And after that dried, this is how the squishy finally turned out. It's a little basic and a little simple, but I'm very happy with how it looks. I really like the chocolate theme that I went for this. Although it is somewhat simple, it's kind of monochrome, I really think it looks cute and I'm happy with how it looks. Now moving on to the unicorn squishy. I start by giving a base coat of white over the whole squishy. Although in some areas this is more than just a base coat since there will be a lot of white in this squishy. Although they were both going to be similar squishies in the fact that they were both going to be cakes, I wanted the designs to be very different.
And so once I finish with the white base coats, I mix this cake color to be the bottom of the vanilla cake. And so I kept layering that color all over the bottom of the vanilla cake before moving on to the rest of the squishy. I wanted to get a good foundation ready. And then I moved on to the hair of the unicorn, which this is probably my favorite part, but I painted it with rainbow. I also made the unicorn horn into a nice metallic gold color. And I added the face details, the eyes and the ears. And I started putting on a very thick layer of white puffy paint all over the top so I can add in my handmade clay sprinkles. These, as I said, were made by hand, so they're very misshapen and not your traditional sprinkle size. And again, once everything was dried, I put my initials on the bottom of the cake again, and this is how this squishy came out. Now this design is very different than the first squishy because it has a lot more color, but I think that's probably why it's my favorite from the two. I'm really happy how this squishy turned out. I really like the rainbow hair that I decided to go with, and I'm very obsessed with the sprinkle look as well. Rainbows and sprinkles are two of my favorite things. But overall, I'm very happy with both of the designs. From these very boring and simple squishies, I decided to pair them up in two, and so instead of having four separate squishies, I decided to make these two really cute cake squishies. Although this squishy with the cat head is a little simpler than the other one, I still think it's really cute and maybe a little more realistic than the other one. But I'm really happy with the contrasting looks that I went with. And overall, I think that this was a really big improvement on the original designs of the squishies. And I'm very happy with how they turned out. I hope you all also enjoyed how I've repainted these squishies, and I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Thank you so much for watching, and God bless you.